see the little cute characters when it does the loading screen. I freaking love it. Um, I have some minis now. Because yesterday... Yesterday I did the, um, the Spring of Hope with Viala on Malignus mode <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention to the challenge, to the challenge, the, 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 the difficulty level. I wasn't paying attention to the difficulty level. I just wanted some more resources and I'd like, oh, I'm not going to get to the boss. I'm not going to be able to, you know. Because, um, before when I did it, I'm pretty sure I did it on easy mode. But with Viola. Um, okay. So I don't know where the hidden area is supposed to be. So I think I will just, um... No, I will just go with explore area, and I'll see if I can find pathways. Might be more efficient to use a character that can actually break the barriers, but I'll just take the first one we find. I haven't managed to kill the stage boss yet. I... Do I remember what the stage boss even was? Thank you for the sippies, guys. And the stretchies. And stretchy up. Stretchy to the right. And stretchy up. Stretchy to the left. And up. And I just realized I have the music turned off. Settings. No, I don't have the music turned off. What? Does the sound just not have music? Did it turn off because the it's explore mode? So I uh, I have a hard time with the sound of the monster, so I usually have the sound turned down. Hey, yeah, there's the music. That was weird. Okay, now hopefully it's not too loud. Um. Good morning, Dari. How you doing today? Did you shut up? I am trying to find the uh the new hidden area, and. Should I try the boss? I'm looking with explorer mode to, to see if I can find it. And I'll go with Axel, because a lot of the times it'll be like you have to cut down trees. Huh. And it does take away the music when you're at the end of the stage. That is so strange. I woke up, that's what matters. Yes, waking up is a very important thing. Why did you only cut down half the trees, Axel? Let me through! Okay, stage EX6. We found it! Um... Let's see... I'll stick with my favorite character. It's either going to be Suvia or it's going to be Anvil then. Does he like the block chance? Feel free to tell me if the music's too loud. I will turn it down if it is. So this is part of the new changes here. These three things, you used to only get these options if <clears throat> all of your attack skills and all of your um, buff skills were maxed out. Good morning, Overlord. Doing all right today. 
We got the cozy grooving out of the way pretty quickly. Still a couple of quests that I gotta wait. Um, wait on other quests to do. We got our first golden spear, which was kind of cool. And now we're trying to find all the new things in Crafty Survivors. Um, I want to. So, you know, it's easy to take the materials if you need it. I'm feeling somewhat better. Not completely, but a good chunk better. I like that on the harder difficulty levels, if you if you lose hearts and you level up, you can heal yourself. You don't have to... It makes it easier for those characters who don't have an innate heal skill. I'll just improve my bounties. Uh, inner battery. Oh. Do I... I think I will mix my usual skills with some of those other skills. Hello, Flaming Bird of Doom. I got distracted by Flaming Bird of Doom. Alright, I think the final stage boss is a, is a giant bird. If I remember right. Because I took it on once, I maybe twice I failed and I was like, I don't really feel like doing it. I'm really slit, so I didn't sleep that well. Oh no! I'm sorry to hear that, Daria. I hope you get better soon. Have some, uh, have some soup or some tea with honey, and um, whichever type of medicine you need to help you sleep more soundly, and then go back to sleep. Lock chance it is. Welcome back, Chris Hall. I know it's been a little while since I played Sophia, but darn it, I didn't expect it to be that that damage that fast. I don't wanna take the heal option quite yet. May I have soup? You should have soup. Soup is good. Like chicken soup, very traditional. I'm not actually sure why chicken soup is a traditional you're not well uh, food. Why specifically chicken and not other types of soup? Thank you for the extra block chance. We are in desperate need of it. <laughs> Soup sounds good, dogs. And like ramen. Chicken ramen if you can handle the noodles. These things, I hate them so much. Thankfully, the doves did lower the level of noise they make. It's just not me. It's just me not selling properly. Spelling. <laughs> well, you could have been, you know, attempting to sell a product. You never know. And sometimes autocorrect does very strange things. So, always benefit of the doubt there. Needles. Uh, additional. Okay, yeah. Get that AOE damage in. Alright, I should be. Okay, if I'm having that much trouble, I should be looking for the exit. Oh, now there's more sub bosses. Lovely. I want popcorn? I mean, it's better than needing nothing. Uh, you know. Depends on the kind of popcorn, really, but... If it doesn't upset your stomach... Good morning, Kichi. How you doing today? 
We need precise measurements. And then get popcorn good thing. Being an adult, you can do what you want. A lot of the times, yes. I am actively getting worse at dodging. It is legal. And I did not pay attention to whatever skill I just took. Oops. Still being chased by that one. It's fine. Thank you for the luck, Barry. Uh, please, please get something for your tummy. Reaper cloth. Yes. I never use it the same way other people do, but it's fine. I like the big round thing of lightning. Um. Oh, that showed up as a passive? Hmm. Okay. I thought it was going to go into my active skill slot and I would have to give up one of my other skills. I'm just going to grind on Pokemon so I can be Arvin. <laughs> So hard he will see his bears again. <laughs> Overlord, that's terrible. I need to grind my team for the next DLC. I know they take a jump in difficulty. Let's get everyone stuck in fluffy wool. You are stuck on the tree, Clover. He beat me three times yesterday, and now it's about sending a message. I mean, it is more difficult when you choose to do a single type challenge, so. Good luck! The closest thing to a challenge like that I would ever do would be. An Eevee. All Eevee's Eeveelution theme. And that's not a challenge, that's an indulgence. Actually, I don't know how good uh, Eevees are for the storyline play, but... I just tell myself I'm not allowed to have a team that's nothing but Eeveelutions. <laughs> Maybe I should indulge more frequently. Doing pretty good now that we've recovered our hit points. Well, it's that kind of enemy again. Okay, and we have an extra heart on the field. Good. So hopefully we. Well, now we don't. Since it's just seen, the only issue is you might have is learn set because EV Lucian still learn many moves. See, that's the part that would make it a challenge instead of just an indulgence. But I think they get good moves. Maybe not many, but... I could be wrong. I haven't tried, after all. Extra wool ball. So TMs, but not on level up. Hmm. Yeah. Look at my little lightning fluff ball of doom. It is so big, I lose track of this elites. I'm a nerd, the fact that I know this. Nah, it's fine. There's many people who love Pokemon that much.
My memory just sucks for memorizing things like that, though. Like, I know people joke about having a memory of a goldfish, but goldfish can remember things for, like, up to a year. My memory is much worse than a goldfish. See, that's because my brain is full of chlorophyll and not meat. <laughs> Corrupted cleric. Hello, you look cool. I don't know what you do, though. Uh, I'm glad I'm not fighting it on a higher level. Okay. Extra charge. Decrease school cooldown. Yeah, we'll go with that. What did he do? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm assuming as a cleric he'll be able to heal himself. Oh, pillars of light. Okay. The downside to the skills I've chosen is that they're very graphically cluttery. So I lose track of what's going on the screen a decent amount of the time. Eh, I... yes. At least his AoE doesn't seem to be very, uh... It doesn't take up the whole screen like some of the other ones. But then he's just uh, a corrupted adventurer. He's not like the like the whole area boss like some of the other ones. So could be worse. Come here. Dashy dash. Ah, I was hoping I would get the last dash there. thousand gold for easy levels not bad at all turn off the auto attack because that's annoying when you're not actively attacking enemies and we'll go look for an exit I mean besides the exit over there right we want to see if there's a hidden area Yes, yes. Mooks. I think I've missed one somewhere that required Agriana, but I don't quite remember. Then there's also the possibility that I may have missed a newspaper or um a statue or something. I think it's okay. We got a decent amount of the materials. Two of the feathers. My blinds. Stage hidden chest. All right. This didn't get me to where I was expecting to go. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't look into how to get to the new character. Maybe I should have. Uh, okay. I'm assuming it's off the mountains. And I think I can now upgrade the town I can. Increase the chance of merchants visiting by 15%. New character is on the new stages. I don't know where to get the so final boss. I have to fight the final boss? Oh, by the way, hello, Shakabi. Can be visited by Secret Stealer. I thought that was supposed to be this level. So I have to go fight the, the bird. Alright. 
for it. Okay, I will try. If I can hit the bird. And with the bird! I might need to strip off the, the fire one, because I'm finding it a little hard sometimes to see what's going on there. Silver, why are you burning down the forest? Because trees are the enemies. Thunder ring, static wall, thunder ring, static wall. Fire! I think this is one of the complaints some people map is too zoomed in. I still have a bit of trouble with the the sound of certain enemies, but I don't know. That might just be an me issue. Okay, remove. I got a lot of removes now. I can afford to get rid of the the skills that will cause me issues. Precise measurement. I think I'll go with files. So I actually did the um I did the fluffy boss again, Shakabi. On malignus mode. Because I forgot to to set it to a lower a lower difficulty. So I have a lot of the material now. <laughs> they have many of those little horn things. Um, okay. Maybe damage for the win. It's great, more upgrades to the town, yes. Sleep is good for your shaka bee. Mm, it is soon time for him to go to bed. I just wake up from a nap after I had dinner. Um, are the kids getting more enthusiastic now that they're more used to you? I need both of these. Yeah. Sleep is good for everybody. Um, remove. I like being able to, um, yeah, I like being able to buy the, the hearts. drinking water a lot of people don't drink enough this is true a lot of people don't drink enough water thank you for the sippy zone i will sip water i had two bottles prepared today i haven't actually touched either one yet i'll just leave the lid off of it of solution. I don't really like taking damage and having to uh, having to use the level up for heal, but I like that I can. But it also then incentivizes not picking up the experience right away. So that if you don't have enough hearts on the map, that you can just uh, save the experience experience and level up for healing. 
Or maybe that's just a me inclination. If multiple members of my team work, all collapse because they don't eat or drink because they work so much. Goodness. Yes. That's why in a lot of places, you know, it's legally required that you give so much time. Oh, shoot. Forgot to turn that off. I did remember, though, that it will slow me down as I move around while it's charging if I don't get it leveled up. So at least there was that. I think we got an extra heart. That is excellent. Some extra wool going. You know, Birdo. This game seems like a lot at once and you're doing great. Thank you! It is a lot all at once. But uh, that's just the way roguelites are, I think. Some of the kids get enthusiastic, yeah, but I like it that way. Don't want to be on the list of associated teachers. Nah, you're definitely the cool teacher. Give me materials, thank you. Okay. Fire projectiles are shot from within the flames every 0.5 dealing damage for anything they go through or size of the skill. You seem like one of the teachers who enjoy going there. If it wasn't, Chakabi is a cool teacher. Do you uh, have a favorite master skill path yet? Extra vial, yay. Actually, now that Jacilla is not your favorite anymore, he was your favorite character. Like, my favorite is still Suvia for ease of play, but the the later stages have made it seem uh, a little more difficult to play her, especially the bosses. Every time there's a new character, it's going to be my new favorite. <laughs> Fair enough. So, Theodore. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, reroll. Well, I was hoping. Grants five skill area reaction between two grants. So, no, thank you. I, thought, I was hoping it would uh, give me a different one that I could max out. Or more vials. More vials is good. Thank you. I was like, maybe I should have looked up where Theodore was before I started playing. Uh, let's... I'm too slow, okay. Yank the heart. I like the fluffy wool ball so much. I see you there. Oh, uh, it's the first stage of the new area. You cannot miss it. <laughs> well, I can miss it if I can't beat the boss. <laughs> so hopefully RNG is on my side today and I manage it. I mean, I... Th I think I can do a little more upgrading on the town, but... I've pretty much got it as far as I can get it. I think. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Meligo. I don't. Ow. Try 
try to keep distance as well. How close do I have to be to use um, this, the concoct? Because I was under the impression I had to be pretty close. The vials do throw pretty far. Ah! I didn't even see that happening. My ears are ringing. Yeah, That's unpleasant. It's a pretty big area. Okay, how am I supposed to dodge an attack I can't see? saw at that time. Damn it. It died! Yes! Now can I please buy its materials from the merchant? Um. Hmm. Yay, dinty emojis! Just to be sure that there are no hidden exits. Like, it's a boss area I don't think there's going to be. But... You never know. I suppose you've done it already, so you wouldn't know, but I don't know. I need to verify. Maybe to be sneaky. She throws a vial when she dodges. I didn't notice that. Uh, that's a good chunk of uh, materials just for a single run that's not on a high level. I didn't even notice the water cap. Is there a merchant in town? Multiple merchants in town. Is the hidden trader going to be somebody that will, uh, sneaky exit area? Wait, what? There is? Okay, I can do some upgrades. Let's see if it's on the town hall. Lumberjack, gathering rate. None no? Oh, you're just... Skill remove plus one. Alright. No secret exit on the bus stage. Okay. So I don't have to be scared of missing something. Unlock an extra slot. Okay. That would be good. Unlock more skills. That's the new material. Interest rate. That can wait. Uh, weapon damage. Okay. That means I have to do it at least two more times. And the new material. I still haven't got any arowana out of that. Uh, three more times. Try looking at the ship. Yeah. Recipe! Um, uh, yeah. Full and core, that's, that's nice. <laughs> I can't sell yet? Uh, not to the fish trader. Oops. Uh, like hardwood. No, weird. I thought I could sell. Not to trader, maybe. You know, I thought I could. Not enough materials? Oh, I'm 10 off needing the bananas. Okay. Uh, more bananas then. 
Not enough materials? What am I missing this time? The green wood. And they can't do the green wood yet. Ooh. Okay. This one's just money. My town will be all sparkly and new. Have you ever actually maxed out the the bank? Because I keep pulling out my money before I actually go. Like I keep forgetting to do gold specific runs when I don't need it to immediately level something up. So collect it all. Max investment. Almost all the time? Like you're almost always full or almost always empty? <laughs> Letter. Oh. Dear readers, this has been a nonsensical journey so far, and the perilous paths that presented themselves in front of me were all startling. The mountain proved to be more treacherous than I recollected from the days prior to the calamity. The malignants roamed the area are much stronger than usual, posing an even greater threat. And to make matters worse, there are corrupted adventurers running around the various trails of this region. <laughs> like, if I hadn't seen the update saying that there were corrupted adventurers, this would have been shocking news to me. These former heroes are incredibly powerful and agile, which is making my progress much more complicated than the last area we've been to. They have a multitude of abilities at their disposal, and are relentless combatants destroying everything in their way. Even the malignants become victims to their constant attacks. It seems to improve the adventurous powers in the process, while the creatures seem to focus solely on us, leaving the former heroes to their bloodlust. Cryptid adventurers are not. Nothing will stop this reporter from investigating this whole absurdity that happened to us. If they want to fight, I can still give them a good beating. The increasing number of malignants and corruptions in the air clearly indicates that I'm on the correct trail to the heart of these affairs. I will get to the bottom of this! Try to go to bed early, Shakabi. Get that rest in. I wonder if uh, poor little Newton is going to end up corrupted at the end. The path of this mountain has certainly been treacherous, my esteemed readers. Fighting the former heroes of our land is more demanding than I anticipated, and progress within the region has been slow. This was my greatest wish to gather information in a timely manner, but I never imagined the perils I would encounter during my travels. After sustaining a few injuries, I retreated to the village to rest for a spell. I have never seen you. During my stay, I had the pleasure of meeting our new alchemist, Viola. To have a chat about our journeys on the past treaded lately. A delightful person with such a despairing story. Viola spoke of sorrowful tales of their travels through the kingdom following the annihilation of their hometown during the Calamity. Being the sole survivor of said incident, Viola watched everyone they knew being slaughtered while fighting for survival. Such memories can be etched in someone's mind forever, and it is surely traumatizing. I do not know how our alchemist stays so positive after going through such plight, but I unquestionably understand the thirst for revenge in Viola's words when speaking of our common enemy. Oh no, that's a good idea? We still may get death threat news. Yeah, <laughs> it could be, yeah. Or, uh, because he comes back to town, maybe we don't learn anything, and we just come back to town one day with everything wrecked, and him is the final boss. I do not know how, um, okay. The malignants, however, how... Have a, having lost family and friends through the whole ordeal, we can all sympathize with this person in the close of this goal. If you have a moment, prized readers, pay a visit to our new friend and make sure Viola is welcome in our humble little village. Corrupt mailman. <laughs> I mean, he's got to be strong to get through all the malignants and stuff. Dear readers, I have once again stumbled upon a giant malignant through my journeys on the mountain. This one-legged bird-like creature molded its gooey body into what resembled feathers allowing it to fly with bees around the area to hunt down their prey. Us. It was able to disassemble its own body into numerous smaller bird-like monsters and scattered around the entire area to deliver a devastating area-wide attack. Uh... Did I see that one? I was mostly focused on the laser. 
Although I was able to injure the creature during our fight, I was also sustained significant damage and had to retreat to a hideout close to the area in order to heal. Being unable to finish the fearsome malignant, I am afraid it was also going to heal his injuries before returning to hunt down unsuspecting travelers. Excuse me. My sources revealed to me that while maligning is being referred as the maligal due to its characteristics, it's commanded the sky to stalk prey and deliver fierce attacks, posing a challenge for us all. How are we supposed to move further our expeditions while this horrifying challenger blocks the borders of the mountain? So like the fact that we can repeatedly kill the boss monsters means it's not dying, it's just dispersing and then reforming. As I continue my journey further away from our precious village, cherished readers, I continue to stumble upon more laborious creatures and situations, which poses an extremely important query. Is your fearless reporter getting closer to the source of this infernal curse? If that is the case, I shall continue my mission to find out this truth about the malignant destruction of our beloved world. Let's see... Many letters... 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24... Hey! I got them in order! I thought I was missing some. Nice. Crazy out in danger everywhere. Careful with flaps the entire. Been ripping around, found anything, only death and destruction. Don't hog all the treasure for anyone else who finds this, my friend. Make sure she's not hoarding everything she finds and run from the loud noises. Dear Stiverick, I really appreciate that you invited me to your village. I've been wandering the kingdom for- So canonically, Stoverk is the one who finds her. <laughs> I've been wandering around the kingdom for a while ever since my hometown was completely devastated by the malignants and the corrupted adventurers. Everyone I knew was killed in front of me when the calamity began, and I have seen- been on my own ever since. It's very refreshing to see some friendly faces after all this time. I have sworn revenge against those insufferable, creepy, amorphous beings. <laughs> for what they have brought down on us, and I will not rest until we can get rid of them once and for all. Please count on me for any battles ahead. I am capable of holding my own in a fight, and I will use everything I have access to against the malignants. I hope I can be of help to you and all the other villagers, so do not hesitate to ask. I am finally settling a property into my new house. Wally has been super helpful with the construction. Wally? Espa, thank you for the follow! Welcome in! I get you a shout out. Are you winning? Uh, well, I beat a boss I died to last time, so I think I'm winning. Uh, I am missing secrets! That's the first time I heard the name Wally. Yeah. Um. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. The devs said the tenth character is underway, and that it was a uh, a character that was planned for last Halloween. What if its name is Wally? Right. Because this is Axel. Rodrigo. Hamilton. Sylvia. Just solo. Right? That could be a hint to the name, and since they're all puns... Um... Well, since the names are all puns, it might not be the tenth character, it might be like a, um... So we... We have Lumberjack, Blacksmith, um... Tassilla's a sculptor, he doesn't... Uh, maybe there's going to be a Carpenter character. And that should be under the secrets. Secrets. A villager mentioned a weird patch of plants to the northernmost area of the beach. I think I have that secret already. Cavern. Uh. I'm starting to think that the because see look he has the five the five things for challenge level and he is one of the hardest characters right but i don't know but i find hamilton an easy character i don't know why it's saying that he's harder than rodrigo 
because I find Rodrigo really hard. And Viola's middling challenge. You know what? We'll go with uh, Hamilton. I mean, Hamilton can be a little difficult if you get unlucky. Ooh. A lot of people say Hamilton is so good. He is good. You don't like him? I like his block chance. It is lovely. But if you get unlucky... And that's really the thing, right? Um, not Hamilton, the fishing guy. Rodrigo! People say Rodrigo is good. What is with this reroll up? No. Repair! Right, it took me a sec- uh, it took me a little bit to get the pun on his name. Because it's Rodrigo for Fishing Rod. Mushrooms! I hate those things. His name's a pun, I love it. All the characters' names are puns. All of them. <laughs> and they're all named after their professions. So the character I'm on right now is Hamilton, the um, the blacksmith. Ah, uh, I missed that shield on my other playthrough so much. I mean, Rodrigo was fine. Until they nerfed the crab pots. And now he's probably still fine if you like the playstyle, but the crab pots were so good. I love the little mushroom ones. They're so cute. Why do they have to be so cute? It makes me feel guilty for smashing them. And they're not all purple and goopy, so what if they're not really made blood vents? They're just like, uh, Hey, we finally have better grip. Oh. Oops. I got distracted. Uh, no, I, I'm low-key expecting one of the mushrooms I walk by to come alive all of a sudden. Because I'm playing on easy, you're not really gonna see the um, the weapon mastery go on. But I did get a couple of masters up on. Um, I wonder if that's the elite. Um, let's remove spear mastery. The difficulty bar could be the indicator whether the character can also auto cast or not. <laughs> uh, that's, that's true. Yeah. CB is pretty good on the auto casting. Uh, I think Vial is pretty good on the auto casting. Reroll. A probable elite. Get all my XP. Oh, that's an actual elite. Uh, okay, maybe that isn't the elite? No, it's a mushroom, so that might still be elite. Just uh, not one I'm used to seeing. It's fine. Claymore Mastery. Nice. Got our block chance up. <laughs> Immediate use. Thank you. Yay, more cynical. Oh. Yeah, the dashi eels look so creepy.
Well, at least there's uh, one version of the monsters I do not like. The random mushrooms confused me too. Why they gotta be so cute? Yeah, I got stuck on the giant mushroom. That they were enemies at first. Well, Ooh. there's a new potato. <laughs> I don't think I managed to get the potato. The little stuff on the ground is, uh, yeah. Okay, we got the heart. That is good. Y'all are confusing enemies. But then they usually mix the two, like, new enemies with older enemies, initially. Do you... Oops. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to prepare my weapon. Potatoes are a little hard to see. Yeah, they are. Oh, there it is! I found you, potato! I don't think I managed to grab it. Drats. Look a little golden mushroom! I love this music so much, though. It's my favorite so far. Like this one, I think I would listen to on repeat. Uh, upgrades your weapon. The upgraded infant filling will break it. I think I will remove that. Remove that. Remove that. Reroll. Add hell. Yeah. I thought I removed you. I forgot to click remove. That's why it didn't work well. They might have more. Best music so far, they might have more. Well, it's good that each new area gets its own music. But this is the one that, um, this goes best with the general vibe of music I like. <laughs> it's like, it's fun and it's not overly, uh, doom and gloom. Not that I think the music in general is doom and gloom for this game. It's pretty upbeat overall. Heroic technique! Go! My favorite playstyle is back. I was not able to use this one on the flying balls because uh, there weren't enough ads spawning on it to support it. Welcome back from ads, Grisson. Um, Remove stress test. Uh, if there's weapon. I love when you say croissant. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And as long as it doesn't... Look at that giant mushroom! Giant spaggy boss, go away. The mushroom's too cool. And I'm a bit stuck in place. So the downside of the hand within here is that if you don't have enough ads, then it doesn't work out that well for you. There we go, see? Ads. Ads are good. 
And I only got one potato. And the fluffy wool ball killed the boss. Good. I also think bosses and stages are a lot tankier. Probably. I mean, they are making the bosses more difficult every stage you go through to match the amount of damage you can do based on how you upgraded the town. So it makes sense. And I just have to remember on the second playthrough not to rush. And I have to turn that off because I will just get infinitely stuck. Now we can appreciate all the mushroomness. I mean, we are in a cave, so mushroom is appropriate. And I'm glad, um, I'm glad Theodore didn't show up to help us out. But potato, there was only one potato. I don't see any hidden secrets anywhere. Huh? Ah! Alright, Theodore. You were right. Couldn't miss him. <laughs> One potato! Potato for the potato gods. Into the dark. Clear stage one of the cavern on any difficulty. Aha, he was down in the bottom right. Not enough gold! Oh no! Kina has gold. Look. Is that enough? It's enough. <gasps> I upgraded and spent on my gold. Invest my piddly 16,000. I'm luck mining! I have no mining! Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to what material that was supposed to drop. Just coal. Okay. Um, so on the one hand, I could just stream this, but I do have the second account that I can use to record the videos. But then the... Okay, we're moving on to Kevin 2. Say hi to YouTube. I will just cut the video up into little bits. Yeah. <laughs> um, since this is so relevant, I might go back to posting a video a day hi youtube say hi to shakabi a lot of this would not be possible without shakabi <laughs> wait merchant in the village i can't afford anything but let's go see what he was selling did he have anything new he did not um was that new recipe was that a new statue or a new recipe? Fluffy cheesecake. Resets as soon as you don't get a hit. Ooh, new material. The croissant is here. <laughs> you are. Yeah, they have food in the game. I'm, uh, I think this one says unlock an extra slot. So I think that means that you can get a third statue. Which does mean that eventually you should be able... Yeah, upgrade and get an extra slot. You have to do the boss again. And the boss is so hard. Alright, moving on to Cavern Stage 2. I don't know, I kind of would prefer... Nuke him with Theodore? I don't! You know what? We'll do the same thing I do every time I get a new character and I'll... Look at the grin! <laughs> Special ore deposits spawn all over the stage while Theodore is on the battlefield. 
Finding them will grant ore and may contain special minerals like our buffs. Uh, gold drops gold, red increases damage, green heals a heart, blue gives shield. Go, Carter, go! We will go backwards to an easier stage. It is very cool looking to see how they... Oh, okay. Did you just... Just plonk Theodore down on... Uh... Oh, it has a really slow cooldown. Okay. Do you have a favorite skill set? Yeah, Shakopee. I hope he is easy to pick up. Do you mean easy to learn how to play or easy to acquire? Increase the amount of ore collected from ore deposits by one. Kaboom. Place an arcade machine that explodes after three. After being hit three times by your pickaxe. Carter or other bombs. The arcade machine stays active for 15 seconds. The bomb skill set and the kaboom set is the best. Gets five for chance of blocking damage caused by explosions. Learn how to play and it is pun pickup because pickets. Can't understand anything of what you are saying. Uh go with the defense. The ore is lost only after Carter starts moving. What? I don't understand the Carter thing. Hopefully I'm not losing material all that much. Um, Alright. The collapse thing doesn't seem too bad. Creates a fissure in the direction you are aiming that deals damage to enemies in the area. After 1.5 seconds, the fissure releases hot steam that causes- that seems pretty good. Close for a bitch 20 cent. Hit the cart to it moves to damage enemies or to collect ore. Oh! Oh, oh that makes more sense. Thank you, Shakopee. Oh. Can it. Does it just go left or right? Can it go down? Um, Ceiling's Revenge. Drops a stalactite from the ceiling in the direction that you are aiming. Dealing damage to enemies in the area. The select light stay on the ground for 20 seconds, and every time it hits your fire pickups, or the bomb. Oh, yeah. It can go down? Yeah. <laughs> I like that amuses me. I'm not sure how much I would actually use it. But it amuses me. At least I can move through the rocks. Oops. Uh, if you got stuck on the rocks, that would be kind of bad. A bit hard to try this in later stages. See, this is why you experiment in easier stages. I don't want to get stuck. Nobody wants to get stuck. Thank you for the lurk, croissant. Um, I'm going to go watch anime. <laughs> Have fun. But yeah. If you got stuck on the extra things, that would be bad. But, uh, it doesn't seem like that. See, increase the number of use of the... all the things. Pickaxe level 2? I may have to go back and look to see if I can, uh, disable the... Like, you can hear when the alarm happens when um, the ceiling's falling down, which is good. If you 
get distracted and you don't notice the bar going. It's a little hard to hear over the sound of the music. Each basic attack increases the drop to ceiling. Yeah, but so do the skills. Oh, apparently the bomb doesn't. I... Place this explosive barrel at your position, scatters gunpowder on the floor for five seconds while you walk. After this duration, the detonator is placed. It can be activated by hitting the pickaxe. Um, use this drill to excavate underground and become invulnerable. After being underground, you will emerge in a position in the direction you are aiming, dealing damage to enemies. Aww. Drilling is good. This is a pillar that reduces the collapse bar by 50%. The area pillar stays active for 10 seconds, increases your movement speed by 20% while you are close to her. It's good for dodging around. Uh, cooldown is too long. 30 second cooldown, yeah. <laughs> Looks like one of those things you would take for uh, like the stability pillar, but that's only 25 seconds as well. Emergency dodge. Mm. Right. Emergency dodge is good. Oops. Uh, I'm a little worried that the amount of ore collected there indicates that um, you don't get... No, wait. I have lost my train of thought on what I was uh, worried about. Which is bad, because then I start taking damage. <laughs> I think I've gotten so attached to the static goal, though, I may end up not using all of the potential skills and combos. Okay. Does the ceiling falling damage the enemies? Very! No, no, no. You dodge to your cursor, so target far away, then cast the skill. Ah. They also damage the enemy. Excellent. I will probably not remember to place the cursor really far away. I will try to remember. I mean, I didn't think I would like Viola as much as I've ended up liking Viola. Oops. Uh, if she had a better blocking mechanic or better dodges. But the glue thing is nice. Helps compensate for it a bit. You know, this, the damage circles are all the same color as when the enemies are targeting you, so... It doesn't seem too bad yet. Now, I haven't gotten any really huge, like, huge range on any of the skills, so I don't know how far away I'm going to have to be longer than her. Chase the cart! If we want... Kaboom. There is a 10% 10 chance of healing a heart when you go underground. Emergency dodge, emergency heal. Possibly. We accept emergency healing. I was trying to keep my experience kind of grouped up, but... It was like I accidentally got. Carter, come back! Where did you go? Uh, I 
After releasing air, the Fissure stays active for 2.5 seconds, dealing 50% damage 5 times to enemies inside it. <laughs> Alright. Well, can I get sucked into the Fissure too? Uh, it didn't look like it. See, I'm not good at kiting around and dodging, but I think... I don't know, I think he's meant to be one of those characters where you kite around the edge of the screen. What's that? Bomb beetle. Shoots an electronic beetle in the direction you are aiming, attaches itself to the first enemy it hits, or to Carter. After five seconds it explodes, explosions can harm you. <laughs> I mean... The poor cute bug. It's fine as long as it doesn't attach onto Carter. You guess is right. I only go to the edges of the map and throw bombs. Hey, yeah, I guess because that's kind of how you recommended playing Viola as well. Which is how I managed to uh, get the fluffy boy and all of the. All of the creatures that were spawning in that one. But then, and then some of the enemies die and closer to the middle of the screen and then I feel like compelled to go get the experience and then I mess up. Hmm. While releasing air, earth pillars come out of the ground. Yeah, that sounds cool. I, I kind of feel like the chances of hearts dropping is higher on the lower levels. So you're an explosive game style. Shakabli plays difficult characters. Like, he used to main Chiselo, and he is, like, to me, one of the hardest characters. <laughs> it's funny. Can't take damage once the stage is clear. Although canonically you should be able to. Hmm. I thought there was going to be stage specific materials he could get. Oh, I guess maybe only if you have mining? Right, mining. The kaboom skill has a heal chance? Take it, take it. <laughs> okay. No! Oh goodness, I did not just do that. Yes, I'm sure. I am not doing this. <laughs> I am not doing this on Malignus mode! Not with a new character. Maybe we'll get lucky and get more potatoes. Potato, potato. Okay. Explosive miner drops a small bomb. When you perform a dodge, 10 second cooldown. Uh... I liked Thermal Fisher though. Okay. Um, emergency dodge. When I level up, I will move where it's located. There we go. 
move it over to F. Um, there's a bomb that bounces if it hits an enemy. The bomb can bounce two additional times every time it does. Increase by 30%. Okay, I think I like that one. Oh. I don't think I like the muse the sound the kaboom thing makes when you hit it. Um not doing that one. Dig it, dig it. Knew it? What? Knew what? What did I do? You knew I wouldn't like the noise it makes? You hate the sound of kaboom? I'm not fond of it. It's not malignous bat screeching bad. It's just kind of... Just kind of dissonant. Means this is the last time you pick it. The explosive area is pretty big. Uh... I thought that was supposed to be every three times. I only hit it once. And hey, you can guess my favorite skills and less favorite skills. That's pretty nice. I need the circle to not be blue. Like, the this is a good thing color. Uh, we like stun chance. It, it can't damage me? Really? I... I thought it could damage me? I know that was just coincidence. Uh... Give a second... Okay, if this is basically the healing skill, though. Now. Rude. Art, please. Said, stay near the wall. Potato! Meaty lost my heart. Ooh. Um. No heart. That's okay. If, I, if they drop a heart and I survive, maybe I'll manage to get the heart. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to hurt them, though. I don't know. Wait, they damage you? I don't know! After exploding, an electric field is created that stays active for 5 seconds, still steady every 0.5, and inflicts stun on the enemies. No, I'm not good at the kiting around a thing area sort of strategy. But you're right about the blue circles meaning that it shouldn't hurt me. I'm just, uh... Give me thy heart, please. I need... percent chance of the bomb not being consumed after exploding. I 
Increase the size of the fissure. Okay. We're not dead yet, so that's good. See, it could totally be worse. That was not the direction I meant to send it in. Interesting graphical over stuff there. Image per bounce increase. Maybe I'll be able to go back and get my chests if I'm lucky. I mean, there are four of them. Uh, what do the ore deposits actually do? Just auto the basic and focus on walking out of the ceiling falling. Okay. I can do that. Uh, block chance. No! I just wanted to go back for my chests. I was going to check to see if, uh, you like that? Thank you. Increases the damage of explosions, but they deal two hearts of damage on yourself. No! No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It's so silly that him just uh, attacking everything and nothing at the same time. Have you tried this on... I know you tend to do things on hard. Have you tried it on Malignus? Me my heart. Thank you. Surprising level of skill level ups. Okay. Bump, bump. It's basically just always aim a certain way. Do not get in front of me. Mean monsters. Not yet, only hard. Perfectly fine. Hello, bosses. The bosses scared me. Two extra boulders are launched every time a slack that is hit, and three more when it breaks. Okay. Uh, go car to go. Don't know how feasible Carter is until you have the cooldown. Remove. Bigger attacks. Nice. I don't know when I healed up. <laughs> Last I noticed, I was down to like two. But sure, we'll, we'll take it. Diddle! <laughs> I like the still hectics. Then. They're so big! Is in the whole sort of uh, getting distracted by the amount of stuff that's on the screen door. No, I just uh, do the stuff takes hurt me or not. Here, spiky everywhere. Diddle. Ah, diddle. I was like, oh yeah, after a second, there are special rocks. I 
don't know if I really noticed those all that frequently. Like, they were really obvious on um, the grassland stage, and I've just been sort of not processing them on this one. Even though you got hit a lot, there's always healing. That's how I feel playing this character. Hmm. Hmm. It's like a riskier feeling of, um... Shoot. I'm getting distracted and not looking for the bombs. A similar field I handled with then. But I'm not dodging in the right direction, so maybe a little more dangerous. There is no maybe to it, really, so silly flavor. But they go. I have enough to upgrade the mining system! Woohoo! Mining system! Twelve potatoes! <gasps> I... I don't recall that many potatoes. Uh... His area of effect must hit them. <laughs> Gathering rate plus ten. Thank you for the sippy sespa. How you? Hope you're doing well today. I have water on hand. Okay. Um. Uh, hmm. Wait, did I set them both to the same place? I thought I sent one to the grasslands. Uh, never mind. I will send them both to the mountain. So there's nothing on the beach he can get, or in the woodlands. Which is fine. Uh, now if only it would gather the bird feathers rather than the ore. That would be better. Just because I don't like dealing with the birds. But bones! Uh, let's get- no, I don't have the material to level him up. Let's, let's see what his stuff is. New skill point? Oh, I do have a little bit. And now I don't. It's fine. Give me your skills. Increase the size of the eruption created by the pickaxes. Grants an attack speed buff every time you mine a special ore. Okay. Increases Carter damage. Ore deposits deal damage around them when they are mined. It doesn't seem too bad. Angry Carter. <laughs> Increase the damage caused by Carter when he is loaded with ore. Uh, I'm a little concerned that Carter seems to be sentient. Decrease the collapse bar by an additional value of its max amount every time it increases. Okay. Fills the collapse bar by an additional. <laughs> so, if you want to play with the... With the collapse bar being what kills your enemies. You can. Yeah, I'll just take the increased area and let's see what Suvia can give him. Okay. Plenty of cotton. Um, I need more bear paws. I wonder how. Viola would do against the bears. Skills. Increase the invulnerability time after performing a dodge. Now if this decreased the cooldown of dodge. Increase the distance traveled. Okay. Advance the pickaxe's attack combo when receiving damage. Increase your damage for 30 seconds when receiving damage. It seems like this is one I should take because I will always be taking damage. Uh, dodge, dodging through Carter increases the damage the next time you push it. Dodging through Carter while it is carrying ore launches boulders around him that deal the same damage as go Carter go. Hmm. 
none of these are my favorite things. I'll just do a point there. I'll just do all the points thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess the invulnerability time. Yeah, I'm gonna unlock somebody. Thirty-second buff is pretty long. Anyway, I'm gonna lurk. Have a relaxing basic care results. All right, Everlord, thank you for the licks. I think I take damage every 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I hope they never implement an achievement where it's don't take any damage. Because it will never happen for me. I think I could play my best character on easy and I would still take damage. Current level maxed. Unlock building... Upgrade building to unlock more levels. So what I'll do for these is I'll just come through with um, with my second account. Because this second account is not anywhere near as upgraded. Yep, yep, yep. You said blue circles aren't hurting me. And I don't remember what the red circle did. I mean the red ore did. Mm. Since that's a passive and not an active skill, yeah. Gif. Red is damage, green is heal, blue is shield. So blue is good. Blue is good. Uh, this is only when I dodge, though. I think I'll remove that one. Stuck with the thunder ring for. No. Bad ore. No bad ore, you think? Okay. I will try to stick with, um, except for this as a passive, I'll try to stick with only their own skills. How frequently do you use Carter? Because I feel like I probably won't remember to use it all that frequently. Very little? Okay. Increase the bomb size. Bouncy. Okay, like, I've been hit by these, but I like how bouncy they are. Don't worry, I don't remember it either. <laughs> that, that makes me feel better. Oh, oh. Potato! I didn't even need the healing. Oops. I know, I've been a bit enthusiastic about potatoes ever since I saw this one uh, TikTok of a rancher. You pull out potatoes and you go, POTATOES! No, it was ABUNDANCE! Tectonic artillery shoots a boulder in the direction you're aiming. I don't think I remember seeing this one last time. You need five ore to activate the skill. Would I remember to use it? I probably wouldn't remember to use it. I'll stick with Fisher. Or stuck bait and Fisher. So I think if they ever bring out a character that focuses on healing, you'll know that they plan on co op. Oops. Uh huh. There's a damage buff if you have more ores, so I wouldn't take it. Ah, okay.
Yeah, I would prefer the damage boss. The passive skills. At least these ones don't heal. The way the pink ones do. Oops. <laughs> what did that one look like? It was so silly. <laughs> um, this down in here. It kind of looks like a monster that would hide under the water and pretend to be a plant. A little guy wearing a hat. It's just a little guy. So tiny. Definitely not as big as I am. Alright. I totally forgot to do the hug the walls. <laughs> and then just let the ceiling kill everything for me. Yeah. Oh. Uh... Okay, that makes the... <laughs> the bats continue to be my least favorite enemies. Well, no. Technically, my least favorite enemies are the... The eels that dodge underground and... But those are pretty high up there. Or at least they were the most annoying before this, the sound ones. Going back for the... I will remove you so I don't accidentally forget and take you. I want my chest please and thank you. And the healing skill is not coming back, so... It's unfortunate. Oh, they shoot too. Ooh. He has feet now! Why he got feet? No good. It's an active skill, so no. He doesn't need an upgrade. Um that 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 was my skill, right? That wasn't just a weird random tentacle out to get me. Right? Hopefully. Uh always creates a fissure on every third attack on first and second half of the D. Okay. Ranged enemies are always the worst. Tentacle is enemy, if I'm not mistaken. Oh dear. <gasps> Come on. I was hoping it was my skill. I have enough distance to enemies, they don't need more. And it doesn't match the color scheme. Potato! Oops. Are those not the weeds then? Um. Did I not already take this? Oh no, it's only when you do the dodge, okay. I kept thinking I had already taken it. I'm like, I'm confused. Um. But we're not doing too bad, I think. We're doing so not bad that the boss has now spawned. Hurt, hurt. Yay, hurt! Uh, deals 50% damage 6 times every one second to enemies around. Oh, 
floor. Extra ceiling. Remove. It's really good considering the first time you played them. Thank you. Oops. I appreciate your advice. It, that helps. And, uh, just actually having chat here helps as well. Every 40 ore in cryo damage. Okay. I don't have that buff yet, but that'd be nice to have. I don't know. I'm more relaxed when I'm streaming it than I am when I'm playing it solo. I really want to see you pick the super big boom skill, though. What is the super big boom? Is that Calamity? Is it this one? Bouncy plus kaboom? Oh dear. Uh, I just don't have a slot for it. I should have paid attention to combo skills. Deco. So I think the, the reason I had so many potatoes last time is because it must have been procced by the um, an area of effect skill and I just didn't see it. damage. Uh, so having them frequently fall is good. Yeah. Something that looked like Kaboom was going to hurt me. Mm. Or not Kaboom, the, the bouncy ones. That one. Oil spills four extra times, you release five oil spheres. Okay. Did I get hearts? Oh, I did get slowed by the monster. Ooh. Come on, game, give me better healing luck. I know you want to. Do I only get the heart if they explode with while I'm right by them? Hmm. As I expected to be... The many times as they've gone up, I expected to see them. Maybe I've just been unlucky in that aspect. Don't get close, they spawn hearts anyway. Okay, thank you. Ah, oh, I went down. No! Okay, you were right. The tentacles were an enemy. Retry. Oh, is, is the tentacle the boss of the area? Because that seems very... Appropriate. For science! We shall for science this. We got really lucky. Okay, I can't tell if that was the... The skill? <laughs> I can't tell if that was the skill or if it was the enemy hitting me at just the wrong time. It could have been either one. Oh, that is a big bomb. It is a very slow bomb. Oh, I can drop it. Ah! Uh... I, I, do, I do not like the bombs, Shakopee. They are so slow! Is this one of those that I have the... Don't auto attack it? Okay. They cast so fast. They move so slow. Okay. Is it like, um, 
Is it like the heroic skill hand handled then, where you don't use it until it's leveled up? Game. Game. I'm hitting retry game. Game? Why can't I play? Uh, well, the game seems to have frozen. All right. Go force closer. Refresh the screen. Go back. Okay. I will remember. Treat it like the heroic skill. It's a charge skill, however. Even at max, they don't remove the slow. Oh no! So you can throw it at any size. Okay. I'll try it again. And uh, that seems very likely to be a skill I don't pick up more than once or twice. Is it your favorite skill? Dodge away, put it on F. Riado. I mean, most of the time I forget to even to go around the edge to avoid getting hit. Hit the three. I got distracted. You oh dear. The three. The three combo of my favorites. Fair enough. I do like the base skills. Okay. I'm going to guess... Okay, the elastic experience does hurt you. Kaboom does not say that it hurts you, so it shouldn't hurt you. There. The monster must have just hit me at a very strange thing. Now, it explodes if it doesn't hurt you, but it hurts anyway, that's why I'm confused. It could be that it just, um... Maybe it's meant to hurt me and they forgot to add it to the skill description. Or it could be that it um, just knocked me backwards into a monster and the monster is what hurt me. For science! And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that hurt me. Uh, okay, let's turn this off auto so I can only see the... Stock died as well. Science. For science. Oh, the science. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that hurt me. I mean, and I had to save a slot for the explodey. It could just be it's um, not labeled properly. Or it's not working as intended. Could be that too. I'll let myself get exploded again to see. I don't like you. I don't like you. Increase range of experience pickup. Always good. Okay, did that hurt me or not? I couldn't tell. Because there's that 5% chance, now that I have the helmet, that I don't take damage from it. So I'm confused. Okay. I think it's just knocking me backwards and I got knocked backwards into a monster or into the explosion range of a different skill. I think that's what's happening. But 
but it's really hard to tell with everything else exploding. Here's the stage. Auditorily, it is still doing that weird sound thing where the boss skill keeps going after you die. So I was still hearing the, um, over the music, under the, over the music, under the music, through the music at least, I was still hearing the, um, wonder where this goes. Uh, I was still hearing the alarms of the ceiling falling. I can just buy the bear balls. I forgot about that. Oh no, this is the trader, not the item seller. I don't think I have stuff for trade. Alright. I'm gonna give him one more try. One more try. Let's scare our way over to the edge. I'm not sure I want to leave it on auto attack. I do like being able to auto attack on like Sufi and stuff. Remove you. Remove you. Reroll. roll. Um, I will not take the sturdy helmet just to be sure. Take Fisher because Fisher doesn't hurt me. Play it the way you feel is best. I want it for science. I can't tell that time because the enemies got to me too quickly for me to be sure whether or not that's what was. You saw the enemy got to me so fast, I couldn't tell if it was the enemy and hurting me, or if it was the skill. I need a way to... I was gonna say I need a way to slow them down, but the way for that is just a different character. Uh... I'm not taking tectonic artillery. Let's attack faster. Nope, definitely hurt me that time. For once, the enemy did not get to me first. I figured that's why it was making the alarm sound, right? Like, hey, this is gonna explode and hurt you. I think we're supposed to make the assumption that all skills will hurt you unless explicitly stated otherwise. But like, yeah. It could just be that some skills will hurt you more. Or it may not be working as intended. Or maybe getting slammed against the wall was meant to hurt. <laughs> it could be all of the above. Maybe none of the above, and it's something I just didn't notice. Alright, I should stop for sciencing things and actually try to survive the level. Potato! I feel like the potato healed me for two hit points though, instead of one. Or it could have been the arcade. You do not drop a chest. You do drop a chest. Give.
I don't know if I'm going to get that buff all that quickly, but why not? I know. I may I may need to go play a different character. Um like I may need to increase my town level and then give get then give Theodore another try. But I just like when a new character comes out clearing the content in their area with them. Sometimes it's harder than others. Like, clearing things with Agriano is so hard. I haven't done it. The Hamilton was great. Baruch Spirit is amazing, I love it. Do I have to interact with Carter to get the materials he collects for me? More potatoes, please. I don't know how I feel about um, mushrooms in the forest being what heals you and then potatoes here. I don't know, I might like them reversed. Potatoes there and mushrooms here. I mean, since they already have the mushroom theme going on. But then that might have been why. They might have thought there's already too many mushrooms in this... Well. They may have thought there's already too many mushrooms in this area to really have the mushrooms. Anyway. I think that's enough attempts. <laughs> but. I don't know. They did say high risk, high reward. I'm just not really in the habit of kiting around the screen all that frequently. Probably takes more practice. Mm. Let's go find somebody to read out to. If you have more tips and tricks you want to toss at me for this, I am perfectly willing to hear them. Um, anyway, thank you for coming and hanging out.